Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket and I'm inside my beautiful bus, Shuttle Babe. Anyway, I've been kind of quiet for a while and I just thought I'd give you an update. Um, my Thanksgiving was nice and quiet. Uh, we had a huge windy, windy day. So the plans that I had with my uh, fellow campmates, we had to postpone them. So we're waiting for, it's still a little bit windy today. We're waiting for a nice quiet day so we can just enjoy a Thanksgiving meal together. So that's going to happen. I hope that all of your uh, meals and family gatherings, that you were safe and that you had a wonderful time. So anyway, we're going to kind of look around and I'll show you my camp. Hang on. Okay, so let's go outside and I'll show you the camp. There's Riley. There's Roxy. Always happy to get outside and play, aren't you girls? Well, this is the camp. Of course, I have my hammock. I have camping chair, propane, fire pit, and um, the little doggy bed. I just got this chair. It's brand new from my friend Sherry. So I have an extra camp chair for when somebody comes over here. Yeah. Isn't that right, Rox? Yeah. You want to go walk? Yeah? Okay. Now this is our whole area out here. It's really, really nice. We've got lots of room. We did have some campers over here and they left. This is where I'm at. really really fun got great views the sunset is that way at night so it's fun to lay in this hammock right here and see the sunset over there awesome all right let's go for a walk Isn't it beautiful? Way over there is my friend Nancy. We're going to go visit. Okay, and so I have gotten two new batteries here. I have hooked them up with uh, the existing wires and um, this is the fuse box right here. It's all messy right now. Um, I'm going to be cleaning this up and it's going to be tucked away in this little section here I have in the back of my bus. I moved the uh, MPPT charge controller. It wasn't working with the other batteries because the batteries were so low but it's working perfectly wonderful now. I mounted it back here and I'm going to clean up all these wires. That's my 12 volt pump for my shower. And I'm going to slide these new batteries right in there. So it'll all be nice and neat because this is a hot mess right now. Um, I didn't like how it originally was uh, put in because it was tucked in over here, down in there, and um, it was just a mess in there, and I, I never liked it, so when the batteries um, when were going bad, I just decided, well, when I get new batteries, I'm going to clean up the wiring, make it nice and neat, and be tucked away, and this way, because these are lead-acid batteries, it can vent out here really easily from the back of my bus. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, I hate to see it like this. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's uh, they're working perfectly. Everything is amazingly stronger. I went with 12 volt batteries, two of them, and um, this worked out really well. I 
was um, looking online um, to, uh, you know, just have some uh, knowledge, more knowledge before I did all this. And I ran across a guy, which I'll put the link in here on below. And he was uh, discussing whether or not you should do two 6-volt batteries compared to two 12-volt batteries. And um, I was really intrigued by that. And uh, everything that he uh, presented, which you can watch the video and, and choose for yourself, but uh, everything that he presented in his video has definitely rang true with this setup. It's uh, much more power, and um, it's doing amazing. Hardly taking anything where the two 6 volts were... Um, they, they were um, doing okay, but at night they would be down so low. Even when they were brand new, they, they would go down. They wouldn't last the night. So, you know, it uh, is amazing that these two 12 volts are lasting through the night. In my refrigerator, it, the, I have the setting on 31, and it was 31 all night, all day, because I did this yesterday. So I'm very impressed with this, and uh, thought I'd tell you about that. So, got my vacuum cleaner out because tomorrow we are going to vacuum up this dirty mess and um, do some other projects. I've been doing all kinds of projects today. Hi, Riley. What's the matter? You being camera shy? Oh, hi, Roxy. You want some lovies too? You want some lovies too? Sure. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here we go. Roxy's big. Big girl. That's how Roxy. Say hi, Roxy. Say hi. Don't look like a stiff, stiff little statue. Yeah. Yay. Say hey. <laughs> These are my girls. Love them. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, um, the little projects that I've been doing. I try to show you things that, um, that pop up, things that happen so that uh, if it ever happens to you, maybe you'll learn from, you know, some of the things that happened to me so that you will have an easier time of it. <laughs> I know that when I first started out here, oh my gosh, there was so much that I didn't know and I've learned through the last five years of uh, trial and error like anything in life, but it's been wonderful and I enjoy the nomadic lifestyle, you know that. Um, I love being out here in nature, and um, now I've gotten used to this beautiful shuttle bus, so can't give it up. <laughs> and um, it's so comfortable here, and I love it. It's my home. I keep doing upgrades to it to make it better and um, keep you informed on that. So I did the 12-volt, uh, two 12-volt battery system, which is a 24-volt system, and... Um, it's been a few days now. It's working perfectly. Just amazing. I don't have to worry about anything. I never lose power, even all through the night, every day. It's on point. It's doing fantastic. So I'm really, really thrilled about that system. So now you know about it. Uh, let's see what else. We had a uh, catch-up Thanksgiving meetup with uh, friends. And um, this time it was just uh, me and Nancy, Lori and um, Henry were involved in other things. We had two days of really horrendous wind, and so we couldn't we couldn't meet up, you know, because I'm the only one that has enough room in the rig, and uh, just coordinating everything and trying to do all that was just too much. We'd rather just be outside with a table, with chairs. It's just easier. So we put it off, and then it ended up, it was just, uh, it was just Nancy and I, and it was wonderful. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy did some amazing stuff, and, um, with a pork tenderloin, oh my goodness, some wonderful broccoli. I had made some green, uh, bell peppers that were stuffed, it was amazing, with cheese, and, um, made some, uh, molasses chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> so it was really good. We had fun. Anyway, um, so that was concluded. I feel safer out here with just a select few people, not in big crowds. There is a lot going on in Quartzsite right now, and that's just down the road about 17 miles from me. And, well, it's really, yeah, 
it is <laughs> down the road. <laughs> anyway, I would love to go there and meet some of my friends that have arrived there, but it's just too much. And with the coronavirus, everything going on um, here in Arizona, and I've seen across the United States as well, it has increased. So whatever wave it is, second, third, fourth, I don't even know. Um, it has increased and uh, I just really don't feel like, I'm 67 y'all, I don't feel like taking a risk and, um, you know, the odds. No, I just don't feel like that's really a wise choice. So I'm still social distancing, um, not fear mongering or anything, it's just I think uh, just on the safe side. <laughs> You know, it's just better to be safe than sorry. So that's what I'm doing. And I really hate that I'm missing a lot of my friends. But, you know, we'll catch up later. We uh, do correspond through um, different avenues. And that's fun. It's kind of hard when they're doing something that I usually do with them. You know, meetups. And I can't do it. Because I don't think it's a, a wise choice for me. Um, but anyway. So... That's just the way that is. And Christmas is coming up. Oh, before that. Um, I would really sincerely appreciate if you believe in any kind of magical power, such as prayer, manifestations, any kind of positive thoughts, whatever. If you would sincerely pray for my brother Jerry. Um, he just informed me yesterday that he has covid and, um, I don't know, man, it's, it, it hits you a little harder when it's, uh, a friend or a relative, you know, I, I even get, um, a little concerned and, and teary eyed over friend of friends, you know, I just, it, it's just heartbreaking because, you know, you've seen in, on the news a lot of the stories where they go into a hospital or facility if it's really bad and they die and, they had no contact with their friends or family. Uh, my brother's not that severe. He has been um, told to quarantine at home. And so I'm asking for positive everything for my brother Jerry. And I do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Steelers. Now the Steelers were supposed to play on Thursday on Thanksgiving. I was all geared up for it too, buddy. Oh! And, um... So, because the Baltimore Ravens, there were a few of them that had COVID, bless them. Uh, they postponed it, and it was go going to be on uh, Sunday. Well, that didn't happen. I guess there were some other COVID, uh, you know, cases. And um, I'm not even sure if Pittsburgh had some. But anyway, the scenario is now it's moved to Tuesday. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. Uh, across the NFL, there's been a lot of, recently, a lot of players getting COVID. And it's causing a lot of problems. I know there are many of you that don't give a nothing about <laughs> football. But, I, but I'm a sports girl, so just bear with me on this, okay? Because uh, we all have our different passions. I've always loved football. I've always loved sports. So, um... Anyway, been been that way for a long time, and um, so it's dear to my heart. These poor people right now in this situation that it's happening, and I think it's you know they're saying it's because everybody's uh, meeting up in different situations like Thanksgiving and whatever. So um, I'm not going to speculate because I I don't know. I'm just a normal, average person that has uh, thoughts and questions like the rest of y'all. But anyway, um, so we'll see if that happens on Tuesday. Go Steelers! <laughs> and um, that's moving forward on that. Next thing is Christmas. Now Christmas, to me, has always been special whether or not you believe in the whole aspect of the religious aspect or whatever. Um, me so much, it's more um, the love and joy that a lot of people provide. I mean, 
there are so many times the whole year they're not really happy people but Christmas brings out the good child or happy child in them and um, a lot of joy is shared and I see a lot of magic happen that's really amazing and I like it so I, I love Christmas it's uh it's just a fun time to share the love so that's happening um I don't see any thing changing for me <laughs> I'm still gonna be out here in this beautiful desert I love so much and um you know just enjoy the magic of whatever comes to that with uh with my friends but uh we are we're going through a lot of stuff everybody and I wish everyone from the bottom of my heart I really wish that all of you are safe healthy making good choices and um, that you're okay financially and mentally because this is a rough thing for a lot of us we've never gone through a pandemic before and all the aspects of what our world is going through politically so it's kind of confusing um but really truly just please hang in there try to stay positive and roll with it okay <laughs> so that's going to be really an interesting closure to this 2020 and um i don't know i know it's kind of silly but i, I kind of like to see a new change and new everything uh, for 2021. I hope it's a brighter uh, scenario for everyone. Uh, I don't know if they're, you know, so many people are hurting right now. I mean, they really are struggling. And uh, especially people with families. Ooh, I've got something in my eye. Um, so I hope if uh, everything comes together full circle that the stimulus checks will be um, forthcoming so that a lot of these families can have a little bit of buffer you know a little bit of help so that's what i'm thinking anyway wake up and live you guys it's your life and nomadic life rocks and hey beach cricket out don't forget to uh manifest some positive vibes for jerry love you jerry Mwah. love you brother bye